Welcome to Ontario Turkey's Kitchen Catastrophe. I hear you folks are a little challenged in the kitchen area, so <laughs> I'm thrilled that you're here and Emily will help show you the way. You'll be an expert by tomorrow at noon, I'm sure. Good luck tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm really looking forward to learning how to cook a turkey properly. She's like, you, you won. I'm like, oh my goodness, now I have to tell my father in law <laughs> that I entered him and he, you're not that great of a cook, Dad. <laughs> I was surprised. I thought I, w I was a little better than that. <laughs> I checked the turkey and I used this knife to check it and then I forgot about it and put it back in the oven and it melted and dripped and the whole kitchen was full of like black smoke, like thick. <laughs> I can clearly remember it. I'm a danger in the kitchen. I should wear a wetsuit. I'm the messiest cook. There was like little sparky flames and oh, it was terrible. So everyone had to evacuate. <laughs> I think after meeting everybody, this is gonna be a great weekend. We're gonna have fun in the kitchen and we're gonna produce some delicious food. First and foremost, I want to welcome you guys because you are Ontario Turkey's winners of Kitchen Catastrophe. Thank you. Thank you. We are upstairs at the Longo's Loft, so we need to go downstairs to get our fresh turkeys so we can start cooking. We need to cook our turkeys, so we've come down to pick them up here in the Longo's Meat Department, and we have Longo's Meat expert Carlo to help us out. Carlo, tell me what question you get asked the most. Most common question is, how much turkey do I need? and it's about a pound and a quarter to a pound and a half per person, and that'll give you a little extra for the next day. And when you're picking out your turkey, is there any recommendations that you make? Well, what I look for is a nice plump breast because everybody loves the white meat and can't go wrong with that. That's great. Okay, guys, you ready to pick your turkeys? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get in there, get your turkeys. Each pair needs a turkey. That's my baby. There you go. We got our turkeys? All right, let's get cooking. <laughs> We're using about 15 pound turkeys, which is fabulous because, Hanny, when you have your family get together, you're going to be cooking for a few people, right? Absolutely. So this bird will easily feed 10 people plus leftovers. We're going to work through the steps so that you get delicious, moist turkey every time for every holiday meal. We do have some helpers today and helping me is Phil and Donna. I'm so far away from you. However, they are gonna be very close to you. So if anything's going on, they're gonna keep an eye on you. So let's get started. What I want you to do is kind of work along with me. It's hands on. How do you feel about that, Brian? I can do it. <laughs> I know you can. So we've already got our turkey on our rack in our roasting pan. You're gonna lift up the neck skin, just like this. Okay. And is there anything in that surprise! neck cavity? There's a little surprise. Can anyone tell me what's in there? <laughs> this is what I left in the turkey once. <laughs> You're not the only one. You are not the only one. Can anyone tell me what this lovely little package is? Giblets. They're the giblets. You have a stainless steel bowl that you're just going to put it in because we're actually going to use these later to make a wonderful gravy. What I want you to do next is then just kind of leave this neck flap loose because we're going to come back and add some flavor to it. Okay? We want the flavor in the turkey to be on the inside as well as the outside. So now this has a little bit of work. What we want to do is unfold and loosen the legs. Okay? This might take a little bit of bicep work. Your mom will help you out. Okay, Jamie, you can do it. Team, ready? There's a little bit of tension. Once you pop out that one leg, and then that other leg is going to be loose. All right. So now we're going to just loosen up the cavity, and you're going to find another little surprise. Do you want to find it? Grand, <laughs> just pick it up, put it in the bowl. You can do it, you can do it. Yeah. We're putting that in with our giblet bag because, again, we're going to use that. We're going to simmer it with our giblets to make that gravy later. Now, I want you to spin your turkey around one more time because I have one more thing to do before we start getting that flavor in the turkey. Okay? And that is these wings we're going to tuck under. Because they have the wing tips and as it's roasting in the oven, they can start to burn. So just kind of lift the one side of your turkey and then fold it under. Just like this. Oh, you're missing, you're missing a wing. Oh, yeah. There you go. And then just do the other side. So lift the turkey a little bit and just tip it underneath just like that. 
So come to the for to the to the front. Oh, there you go. There you go. You got it. Oh, that's it. Perfect. That was easy. <laughs> so now if you look at the turkey, you'll notice that it's sitting upright a little bit more. The breast is exposed and it's going to roast up really nice and evenly. We're stuffing it with vegetables to kind of keep the shape of the turkey, but also to add that flavor. So we're going simple with onions, celery and fresh herbs. Okay. So take some of your onion. We have it quartered here for you and then just put it right into the cavity. Both hands can be in there, it's all good. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put some celery. And then I'm gonna take some fresh sage. We're using nice, whole, fresh sage leaves. Just save a little bit of everything because we wanna put some in that neck cavity as well. Do you know which one sage is, Jamie? Perfect. <laughs> We saw you See? <laughs> choosing it. So. You watched me. We watched That's you. Good. <laughs> That's good. Don't forget your neck cavity, right? We have that little bit of space in there. So I'm going to take some of the celery, put that in, and then I'm going to take some of those fresh herbs and put them in there as well. Turkey loves any fresh herb. So if you wanted to use marjoram or savory, whatever you happen to have in your garden or what's available at the market or in the store, this combination of sage and thyme is very classic and it works really well. And if you don't have fresh, not to worry, you can use dried here as well, okay? And we're actually gonna be using dried herbs in the mixture that we're putting on top. What we're gonna do is add flavor to the outside of the turkey and we also want that nice golden brown skin on the outside. Mm. So we're gonna use a little bit of melted butter the best part. and combine our dried herbs in with our melted butter and then a little bit of salt and pepper. Now here's what we can do with the salt and pepper. I'm gonna leave it up to you. You can take some of that salt and pepper and sprinkle it all over the turkey, or you can just put it into your butter, just like that. <laughs> Thank you. And then you have a lovely, look, Henny's already got, you're honest. Eyes, eyes. You should be up here. So then take, take your little brush and you're gonna stir it together. This is our flavor mixture that we're gonna brush all over the turkey, just like that. So make sure you get into every little crevice. Get those drumsticks. This is gonna give us that nice golden brown color that we're looking for. I'm just gonna reach over the side here to get that little bit of drumstick. I'm so happy to announce that no one's dropped the turkey. We have nothing on the yet. floor. Yet. No hands yet, yes. We should always throw that caveat in, yet. We're gonna get these guys in the oven. Nothing beats that fresh aroma as a turkey roast. So we definitely want to get that going. Oh. Give yourself a round of applause. This is great. While it's resting, we're going to get our gravy going. the gravy wrapping up and the turkey's resting, almost time to carve, I think we can set the table and get ready to eat. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. I want to make a toast to all you graduates. No longer kitchen catastrophes. You're all gonna be making wonderful meals with Ontario turkey and celebrate with your families. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. I think for catastrophes in the kitchen, our teams were phenomenal. They had fun, they worked well together, and I think they walked away champions in the kitchen. All right, so let's carve up this turkey. I hope you guys are hungry. I think my favorite part of this weekend was smelling those turkeys once they were cooked. They smelled amazing and it was the butter and the herbs and just incredible. Everybody was quite understanding of our lack of skill. Im imperfections. <laughs> and, and very patient. We learned a lot as well, a lot, a lot, a lot about turkeys, yeah. Oh my God, Emily, this turkey is so good. It's, it's so good. I'm so proud of you, Christine. Oh, thank you. <laughs>